Welcome back to another Let's Play by All Tower Media. I am Roper. We are continuing on. We have a quest for playing 30 uh, spells. Specifically for the Shaman class. We've also got the Priest or Warlock dominance, but uh, for right now we're going to focus on the uh, playing 30 cards from the Shaman class. Now, in the last thing we watched, uh, well, the last video that I did was the second part of the Tavern Brawl, and the deck that I played against that whipped my ever-loving behinds, uh, one of them specifically that uh, just thumped on me to no end, was uh, the Dragon, the Priest Dragon deck. So when we get around to playing Priest cards, I'm probably going to end up playing a Priest Dragon deck. Um, as I mentioned in that video, it is... Those decks are well built, and I've got several Dragon class cards that uh, hopefully are going to be what we need to, to get a couple of victories there. Um, but the last one in particular was the Jade deck, and that, that Jade army, man, it was wrecking me. Um, one thing that the Shamans that I've noticed whenever I was trying to build this deck right here, there's not a whole lot of Jade cards for it. You know, I thought there were going to be a whole lot more, and uh, there, there weren't. Perhaps it's in uh, the Druid class. Um, actually, I think it, it, it was a Druid deck. If I would have to go back and, and uh, double-check myself. But uh, the Druid uh, class probably has more Jade cards um, because each of them have their own, and that might have some more. But uh, the uh, Shamans have some, and they also have a surplus of Murlocs. And so we've created a Jade Murloc deck, and we're going to see how this one plays out. Every time you play a Jade card or something that creates a Jade, it will create a 1-1 one, one Jade. The next one becomes a 2-2 two, two Jade, 3, 4, 5, so on and so forth for each and every one that you drop into play. Cool thing about the Murlocs is, much like over in the game Magic the Gathering, kind of like Slivers, they all just kind of feed off one another. One Sliver does this, one Sliver does that, and they all just kind of start doing the same thing for them being that class. Well, Murlocs are kind of the same way. You drop one Murloc into play, and it does one thing. The other ones start following trend as well. They all just get bigger and badder because there's more and more of them. And that is the idea of this. So we will see if we can get ourselves a bunch of Jades and a bunch of Murloc out here. Thrash the... Uh, the water's edge, as it were. That'll make him a 3 2. Well, yeah. Accidents. They happen, you know? Yeah. That'll be beneficial. Yeah, buddy. Murlocs have always been a problem. Yep. That's going to be a lot of fun right there. Calling the finishers. Between him and that. These Murlocs, man, I'm telling you. Nothing scares me. Except the mice. Yep. That will make this guy a priority for him to kill. Don't worry, loves. The cavalry's here. Reporting 
for duty. Yep. What? Okay. Alright, alright. I guess I understand that. Yeah, I guess I get that. Sure, why not? Okay, I can clear his side of the board by doing this. Well played. Yep. That gets that side of the board all cleared off. Just as we were starting to get into some of these, uh, these jade things. The victory is yours. And there it is. Powerful Morlock. Let's see if we can replicate it, because we only got one of the shaman cards played. It's regrettable. I could have stacked the deck pretty heavily with nothing but shaman cards, but wasn't really the design I was looking for. I was trying more or less to work our way through and see, see how this jade deck would play out. Kind of pleased with it so far. It's not really driven towards the Jade, it's more driven towards the Murloc, and I know Murlocs can win, so we might have to rebuild this as a Druid deck and see if perhaps that would be a stronger build. More Jade driven. Thrall versus Rexa. Let the hunt begin for Doomhammer. Hmm, this one's top heavy. We're gonna get rid of that guy right there. I'll hang out of these other two. That didn't do me any good. Let's see if it'll stick. Come on. I wonder. I wonder what you're doing. There you go. Hey, cool. Perhaps that'll stop my little Murloc over there from getting killed unless he casts some kind of spell. I think they might actually be disconnected. I wonder. Nope, it's all card move. There we go. This no look safe. Okay. drop this to make both of them stronger harder to kill otherwise he might try to kill off my war leader I don't want him to do that Send me lose some, right? Old Murkai. Yeah, because you can't put him down as much as I'm sure you want to. How about we shift gears? Job's done. Ah. Well, 
least I didn't lose him. Then I'll drop the other Jade Spirit and the Jade Claws uh, at the same time. Unless something I just wonder. out of left field happens. Mind if I roll need? Yep. Elements guide me. Elements guide me. Give that Okay. Now we'll shift gears back over to our Murlocs. Take the pressure back on. Because old Murkai has charge. So we'll actually have six because it'll lock out one of our mana crystals. So I should be able to drop this and this. But I want to make sure that I drop the Tide Collar first. drop that first because then we get the advantage of this coming in after the fact. <laughs> Summon a number of one run rats equal to this minion's attack. Okay. Elements guide me. Than out some of these rats. <laughs> Do they count as beasts? Black. Yep. Very nice. Well played. I let the dog out. That's super neat. Okay, let's see what we can do with this. Alright, three, six, eight, or I can do three, five. Still too much, it'd be next turn. So. He's going to start breaking some of these rats against the side of these murlocs, which is going to increase the size of his hyena. We must cleanse the sun well. Probably going to drop this in against him, as well as this, to pump that. Or, you know, there's always that. Yep. Did not see that summon of all of the beasts coming. That is... That is how that plays. So we've had one win and one loss with this uh, shaman deck. The Jade Murloc, and uh, eh, I'm not a not a, a big advocate so far. Um, I, I think we need some some tinkering. I think that uh, 
to get this just right, we might have to switch over to the, the Druid build. I'll have to dig through some of those cards and see if we can actually make that a thing. Uh, we might have to reload this deck uh, essentially with all Shaman cards and uh, just torch through that quest real quick to get it knocked out of the way. And then we can move on to the Priest or Warlock build in order to be able to finalize the other quest. So for right now, we're going to go ahead and wrap up the video. I do appreciate you guys uh, jumping over and checking us out. Make sure you like and sub subscribe, and uh, hopefully we can increase our viewership up to 100. And uh, once we've actually got 100 subscribers here on the channel, I will get myself set up with the Journey to Ungaro 50-card pre-purchase pack set here. We'll get uh, that, and then on April 30th, we'll go through open up all the cards, discuss them, and see what we think about them, and hopefully we can uh, build ourselves something pretty elaborate out of it. I, I'm really looking forward to it. I, I can't ex express that enough. I know I said that in the last couple of videos, but uh, I'm, I'm a big fan of this area. So uh, looking forward to that and going to keep an eye on the channel here and, uh, yeah, uh, share us around. And hopefully we can get uh, set up with these cards and get an idea of what all's in it, and you guys can build yourself something glorious out of it as well but uh, until then check out all our other content uh, everything from agents of sir over to spoiler cast all of our friends over at spellbook studios and flick freaks and also our good buddies over there at geek.0 for all your geek related news so guys have a great night and be safe